Hi, before starting this video lecture, you should understand that to learn engineering concepts completely, first of all, it is necessary to get the idea of theoretical concepts behind it. And after understanding the basics, it is important to play with the devices by experimenting with them. In this video, I will cover the theoretical concepts, which is the first step. But here I recommend you to get the basic components of electronics, either offline or online and start experimenting along with theory. If you like, you can get this awesome electronics kit from the link given in the description of this video. I have been using this kit and I am highly satisfied and having fun. So now let's come to our topic. In this video we will see the BJT transistors biasing and different operating modes. Here we will see the basic concept of BJT and how we can operate this BJT transistor in different operating modes. Okay, So this is the schematic symbol of NPN transistor and here is the schematic symbol of PNP transistor. As you can see here that it has three terminals emitter, base and collector this NPN and this PNP transistor type also has three terminals emitter, base and collector. So this is the symbolic uh, representation of these two types of transistor here N stands for the N type of impurities as we know that uh, there are two types of uh, semiconductors intrinsic and extrinsic. Intrinsic semiconductors are the pure form of semiconductors having no impurities added while the extrinsic semiconductors are the semiconductors that have some doping okay we deliberately add some uh, impurities to it if electrons are present in majority in the semiconductor then it is known as n type semiconductor and if holes are present in majority then it is known as p type of semiconductor so here we have used uh, these uh, two symbols NPN and PNP transistors see this uh, symbol the uh, direction of this arrow this direction of arrow is always from P to N look at this okay and here also in PNP here it is also from P to N so here in NPN case and PNP case the direction of arrow of this emitter current is changing okay here this is another representation of uh, BJT transistor NPN and this is for PNP transistor type and for transistor action uh, we need we uh, we want the electrons emitted from the emitter to reach to the collector through the base okay in this case electrons are emitted large number of electrons are emitted from the emitter they pass through this base and reach to the collector region and we want that maximum number of electrons reach to the collector region in case of NPN but in case of PNP uh, this this happens with the holes okay. we can operate the transistor in various operating modes that uh, we are going to discuss here so for the electrons maximum number of electrons to reach from the emitter to the collector the doping of uh, emitter region is highest and it is moderately doped collector region and base is lightly doped this is because we want large number of electrons to, uh, that uh, can be emitted from the emitter and we want that uh, smallest number of electrons get recombined in the p type semiconductor this base in case of npn and maximum number of electrons that are emitted from the emitter region reach to the collector region okay so this is the case of doping and also to support this the size of the collector region is highest the size of the collector region is largest so that it can collect large number of electrons and base is made smallest the size of base is smallest so that maximum number of electrons can reach while uh, traveling through this base region with less recombination so now we uh, here will discuss uh, four kinds of modes of uh, bjt we can operate it in four different modes by biasing them let's see it so here there are uh, four modes that we will discuss first is the active mode another one is the saturation mode third one is the cutoff mode and the fourth one that we will discuss here will be the reverse active mode so let's discuss them one by one this is the active mode in active mode 
uh, since uh, we know here that uh, we have two junctions it is a transistor so we have two junctions here this is called the emitter base junction also known as written as je okay emitter junction and this is the collector base junction okay base and collector are combined here so this is collector base junction uh, written as jc collector junction okay and you can see in active mode this emitter base junction is forward biased while this uh, collector base junction is reverse biased we know that when we apply higher voltage to the p side and lower voltage to the n side or you can say in comparison to n side when the higher voltage is applied to the p side then it gets forward biased so it is forward biased as you can see this is the positive uh, polarity and this is the negative polarity of battery and this is forward biased this is higher voltage and from this you can see it is lower voltage so this junction is forward biased while here it is reverse biased as n type is at higher voltage and p in comparison to it is at lower voltage so this is reverse bias so as i told you that uh, for the transistor action we need that in case of npn large number of electrons are emitted from the emitter and they reach the maximum electrons that are emitted uh, through the uh, from the emitter they reach to the collector region and if the mode supports this phenomena that uh, it allows large number of electrons without or less recombination into this base to reach to the collector region then this is the active mode and this works uh, in this mode it works as amplifier so here you can see that this electric field direction this is is in this case in uh, this emitter base junction electric field direction is in this direction because it is at higher voltage and this is as lower voltage electric field direction is from higher voltage to lower voltage and uh, since uh, n type has a large number of majority carriers are electrons and it has p type has a majority charge carriers as holes since these electrons are negatively charged and by the formula f is equals to q into e the direction of force on the electrons present in emitter is in this direction opposite to the electric field because of the negative charge and so the electrons are pushed into the base region and here you can see that electric field direction is again in this direction and these uh, base so you can see that uh, here the electric field direction is again uh, from this collector to base so electrons that reach from the emitter into the base region are again pushed into the collector region because direction of electric field is uh, the uh, force on electric field because the force on negative charge that electrons is in opposite direction to the electric field so these both electric fields are supporting the electrons in moving from emitter to the collector so this is the active mode it allows the large number uh, maximum number of electric uh, the maximum number of electrons emitting from the emitter region to reach to the collector region okay so this is the active mode now we will see that uh, how the things take place in case of uh, pnp transistor in active mode we are discussing here this is the case of pnp here you can see this is uh, forward bias and reverse bias this is the basic condition for the active region that uh, emitter base junction is forward biased and uh, collector base junction is reverse biased so since this is forward biased so the electric field direction you see the polarity that p is at high terminal p is at high voltage and n at low so it is forward biased similarly this is also forward biased by seeing the polarities and the direction of electric field is always from uh, the higher voltage to the lower voltage so this is the direction of electric field and it allows the large number of carriers that is the uh, majority charge carriers and pr holes so here the electrons the holes uh, so here the holes uh, present in the majority so here the holes that are present in p type in majority are pushed into the base region 
from this emitter region because electric field direction uh, electric field pushes the positive charge in the direction of uh, electric field so holes are positively charged so they are pushed in majority into this base region and here they some part of uh, it uh, recombines with the minority majority charge carriers present in the uh, electrons that are present in the base region but uh, since it is less doped so less uh, recombination occurs and its uh, width is also small and so majority charge carriers that are uh, emitted the holes they reach into this collector region since here also see that this uh, uh, the direction of electric field is in this way so these the this pushes these holes that are reaching at this base into this collector region so this uh, direction of electric field is supporting the holes emitted from emitter to reach to the collector region so this is again uh, the active region okay in case of uh, p and p now let's discuss another modes of operation of bjt transistor that is the cutoff mode here uh, both the junctions are reverse biased since they are reverse biased therefore it acts as a open circuit switch oc oc in uh, OC means in short open circuit or you can say it is off state or zero state so no collector current is flowing you see here this is the symbol of transistor collector base and emitter so no collector current is flowing collector current is zero in this case because both the junctions are reverse biased this is another um, uh, another representation that is open circuit so this is this uh, in case of uh, cutoff mode and uh, saturation mode uh, that we will discuss uh, next it acts as a switch it just acts as a on off switch here it is acting as open switch or the off switch now next we will discuss the saturation region okay uh, but uh, before this let me explain you the concept of this uh, cutoff region that these are both reverse bias this uh, emitter base junction and uh, uh, collector base junction both are reverse bias and this is the direction of electric field we have uh, we are not going to discuss it again so it do not support the flow of current into this transistor okay so this is reverse bias both are reverse biased and now uh, the next uh, mode of operation of bjt is the saturation mode As you can see in this uh, saturation mode both the junctions are forward biased both junctions means this emitter base junction is forward biased okay and uh, this uh, pn uh, this uh, base collector collector base junction is also forward biased both are forward biased and therefore the ic that is the collector current is maximum in this case okay and therefore it acts as a short circuit it acts as a short circuit switch or you can say one state or on state the transistor is in on state so you can say so here this uh, bjt acts as a short circuit here you can see that this ic is maximum and uh, because of this uh, forward biasing of both of these junctions okay and it's acting as a short circuit this representation shows that this is so uh, short circuit so uh, as we have seen in cutoff region that it was acting as open circuit and ic current was zero and here it is acting as a short circuit and maximum ic current okay This is known as the one state or on state of the transistor. Okay, so this is the saturation mode. In both of these modes, satur uh, saturation and cutoff, it acts, the transistor acts as a switch. 
on off switch okay on switch in case of saturation and off switch and off switch in case of cutoff okay and one more thing in case of uh, saturation mode that if the emitter junction voltage is higher in case uh, in comparison to this uh, collector junction voltage then the transistor is under forward saturation region this is a case for the saturation regions uh, these two cases for the saturation mode and uh, if the collector junction voltage is higher in comparison to the emitter junction voltage then the transistor is called under reverse saturation region now it's time to discuss the reverse active mode this is just opposite to the active mode that we have discussed uh, in the beginning uh, in, in this case the emitter based junction okay is reverse biased while the collector based junction is forward biased in active mode this was just reverse okay so the transistor is never operated in this mode since gain is negligible in this mode of operation we do not we never operate the transistor in this reverse active mode this is just opposite to the transistor uh, transistor action that we desire so let's see uh, how it is uh, reverse active mode look at this this uh, this is uh, npn transistor emitter base and collector and uh, this emitter base junction is reverse biased here while this collector base junction is forward biased how it is forward biased So look at this, here this is reverse bias, this emitter base junction is reverse bias while the collector base junction is forward biased. This is just opposite to the active region of operation. And here uh, because it is a reverse bias because this is at higher polarity, N type is at higher polarity in comparison to P type. So this is reverse biased and here this, this P type is at uh, higher polarity in comparison to N type if we talk about this uh, collector base junction therefore it is also forward biased so this is just opposed to the transistor action that we desire therefore we never operate transistor in this region because the negligible gain is present uh, we get negligible gain with this mode of operation so I hope you got all the four modes of operation active mode saturation mode cutoff mode and reverse active mode these are the four modes of operation that we can use a transistor but never use transistor in reverse active mode okay so hope you understood all the things that i have discussed here in the next videos we will discuss uh, more other points uh, uh, related to these transistors BJT and in further lectures we will also cover the MOSFETs and FET, CMOS etc. So keep watching Engineering Made Easy. If you have not subscribed my channel yet then please subscribe it. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel Engineering Made Easy easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can visit my blog see you soon in the next video till then bye bye